We're not claiming no Julian. I could have 10 years she spent on Jamaica. We not claim her. Because we don't frighten up for people when they come on to Sprint. We don't beg friends when we dominate Sprint. We are Jamaica. On a place to stand up and stop the foolishness. Yes, we're happy to say Julian win as a fellow Caribbean person, a fellow Islander. And we just never want such girls to win because such girls forget humble. Period. But we not beg no friend from St. Lucia. We not beg no hype from St. Lucia. We not ride no St. Lucia coat tail. Mm-mm. No. Guys, welcome back to the... <sighs> welcome back to the channel. Today, I just want to talk about the Olympics. Um, let me start by saying... Obviously, this is one of the worst Olympics we've had as a country in a very, very long time. Me now go bash none of our athletes, them. You understand? Because the fact that we, what are we right now collectively have body come down, go for show you how well we've been performing as a nation for the past couple of decades. It goes to show you how highway expectations set because our athletes have been doing so well. Me now bash them. I'm not bashing them. I thank all of them, I love who athlete them, the whole of them are Olympian, the whole of them go and them represent them country and them train and them whatever. Me not bash them, but at the same time, I'm not somebody who is like toxically positive. You know them people that when the house are burned down, but them still say, oh my god, everything is fine, it's all gonna work out. I not stay safe, the house are burned down, I say, Jesus Christ, the house are burned down. I tell the truth. So, I not depend on, oh, you know, we love our athletes and so it gone. No! I not depend on that. Me upset. Me annoyed, me perturbed. <sighs> so I want to talk about it. So I'm gonna talk about everything we have won in the Olympics and it starts when I like. Today has been a rough day. Ah <clears throat> oh boy, let us comment. First, I'm gonna start with, with uniforms. Alright, not with uniforms, our opening ceremony outfits. I found that something was sitting around, you know, me never, me never liked the outfit them. Me sorry. Let's have the honest to the truth, and that is not the athlete's fault. A Puma did, me know Puma designed the actual track and running gear and whatever, but a Puma designed the opening ceremony outfit, them, them never that give. Them never that give me no excitement. And I'm gonna tell you no to know what's the opening ceremony. I see when we up on the boat and the little bit of camera time we get, the camera time did just. You barely see it for like five seconds before they jumped on to the next country. I never like that either. And this me start upset me. I say, all right. The opening ceremony closed them in a shell. We not get enough camera time to, you know. So from the summer, I said, why? We start shaking, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Because, you know, the big race, them are come and we are going to dominate and all them things there. Anyways, the first event <clears throat> that really perturbed my spirit was when Sharika announced that she's not running the 100 meter. She jump out of the 100 car. Me upset. All right, wait there. Let me go all the way. But me upset for Elian now coming on because the last two years, you know, me tell you, say, last two Olympic years that is, Elian do our thing. So when Elian now no qualify and all of them something, and Elian now come, me say Jesus. But whatever, we have Sherika, we have Shellyan, we have you're not here. We have people. We're good. Sherika jump out of the 100 meter because she'll go focus on the 200. All right, me no coach. Me no in the running camp. Me no know. So if if them say that them want to do or that them want to do, all right, cool. We'll let that be. We'll let that be. Now we reach to the morning of the 100 meter semifinals. And the great, honor, the right, honorable, greatest to ever do it, Shelly and Fraser Price, is nowhere to be found. Shelly is now a DNS. Shelly now around the 100 meter. How that work? Now, the official statement supposedly is that Shelly felt an injury during warm up. But the talk of the town is that because of the incident with her and Shakiri where they got locked out, Jesus, I said the demon's girl name, where she and such girl did get locked out of the warm up area. And I think they had to walk, either they had to walk all the way around or they never got to warm up properly. Shelly withdraw because not from a man, no. while such girl has early 20s and maybe she can go run without warming up and have no issue. Our queen is 37, you know, she not old by any means, but in the, in the athletics world, she is old. And she has to warm up properly or else her body will go, hmm. 
those of us over 30, you ever do a short little jog or jump over something or bend down too fast or get up too fast? Yeah, imagine being an Olympic athlete and just go run for your life 100 meters and don't warm up. So, with that being said, I don't blame Shelly one bit. I believe whatever incident did go on there, so allegedly, because I wasn't there. This is not Fox Olympics, no, no, so me or the organization, but whatever lockout business go on there, so mess up Shelly and Shelly not get for run the 100 meter. I may tell you, say from that did announce, it's like. It's like we just we just mash up. Sherika one was a blow, you know. When she said she now go run the hundred, but then when Shelly not in it, we said Jesus peace. Um, but I do want to say thank you, Sasha Lee Forbes, for stepping up and representing us. You made it to the semi-finals. Very good effort. And Tia, the future Jamaican sprinting is in wonderful hands. Cause when I say oh, Tia, angle triangle are semi-finals. Hey, the girl running up. The girl running up. Mr. The girl, listen, she young, the one of the veteran them drop out, and she one left. You know how much pressure that pan her as a 19 year old at her first Olympics, her first big stage, and the girl run her finals, make it to the finals, and come 70 we thank you, and we love your girl, and we happy say you're on the scene, because it means a sprinting in a good hands. Mr. The girl make me proud, so till it's only God know. My God. Alright, back on track. Let me talk about the next thing. We upset me. Mr. Answer Parchment, draw, draw and cheer. <laughs> Sir, why answer run? I'll come fifth. You see? I nearly give the wall with heart attack. It make it true, you know? It make it true. Pan time. But like, me does never that expect say. And so that is scraped through upon time as you know the reigning Olympic 110 meter hurdle champion. And that they just stress me out. I mean never like that for we at all. And so me now bash a baby, me love you. Stay good and so tick lip and so me love you. But me not lie, you stress way out this morning with the one day. But you make it true, I'm gonna leave it at that. Talk about the next thing we me not like. <coughs> Alright. Before me go into the two big something them, cause we know are two big things. Let me talk about one of the other something them. I be a quote me a chatting right now. Let me stop it. Julian Alfred won the 100 meter. Julian Alfred is a Saint Lucian girl. The whole we know by now. Um, she was in Jamaica for three years of her life from 2015 to 2018. She attended Saint Catherine High School. That's all fine and dandy. But Jamaicans, as a fellow, you know, ease up for Julian. Me no need to not claim Julian. I'm gonna tell you no wife. You know, don't believe me? Run go over World Athletics. Look on the post them highlighting Julian's win. Look on the comments made by Jamaicans claiming her, and look at the responses by the Americans, the Saint Lucians, and the other islands. You know, if you understand, people don't like us. So even if we just a troll them or a little joke we make you know Jamaicans with jokey jokey They might take it and make talk say we know I come basically friend of St. Lucian and our ride St. Lucian the St. Lucian them quote We not beg no we not beg no friend wanna stop it me don't like it stop it we not claiming no Julian. I could have ten years she spent on a Jamaica. We not claim her because we don't frighten up for people when they come on to sprint. We don't beg friend when we dominate sprint. We are Jamaica. On a place to stand up and stop the foolishness. Yes, we happy say Julian win as a fellow Caribbean person, a fellow Islander, and we just never want such girl to win because such girl to get humble. Period. But. We not beg no friend from St. Lucia. We not beg no hype from St. Lucia. We not ride no St. Lucia coat tail. St. Lucia get them goal, make them have it. We have three big runner. Two of them have top, two, two of them time in the top three fastest times ever run by a woman. And the three of them never perform. Elian never make it. Injury. Shelly never run and Sherry can never run like we not beg no friend when you come on to sprinting. We're happy for the St. Lucia and them, we're happy for Julian, we celebrate and we big up, but we not claim her. On a place to stop it, but oh, it's a win for Jamaica. It's not a win for us, it's a win for St. Lucia, it's not a win for us. And we need we need to stop because we don't want no other Caribbean island to come top or Jamaica a big friend and look on Jamaica now come try whatever. We not try no, we don't beg the friend for no now and it done this. So we are Jamaica, we don't have to beg friend. We are having a rough Olympic year and I saw it go. We not going all the time. But please to remember 
the two living at least them were world the fastest times. Please to remember, four at least them killed the double double, triple triple, cause you see the triple triple triple. Like, please, please, we're having a rough year, leave us alone. Please, we're not begging a friend, we're not stop it, we're not claim her. We respect and we celebrate her. We're not claiming her, we don't need to, we is a we name Jamaica. I want BBC black, green, and gold. Next. So imagine after all of this stress that we go through with the 100 meter and the woman. Me wake up this morning. Sharika Jackson is not running the 200 meter. Hey! Are them some near make people mad out and end up at Bellevue, you know? Because. Knowing that we we weren't going to win the 100 meter necessarily, and we say, all right, Jacko is a. Them I said Jacko LT, right? The camps I said Jacko LT, and she want to focus on the 200. And then she now run it and hear what I think it is. And I know a lot of people are upset, and people are saying that you know the, the athlete them and the coach them a lie and whatever. I think from Jacko get that injury um, at the Diamond League game where she did pull up. I think maybe her coaches and her team. Her doctors, her trainers, whomever they think say, you know what? We can probably get her back to farm by Olympic time. I'm thinking with the 100 meter and the 200 meter so close, they're like, all right, the 200 meter is her better event. Let's make sure, you know, she focuses on that. And to me, maybe them just realize that Jesus, it just not gonna work. I don't think it's a matter of they wanted, they wanted to lie and deceive us. I think it's a matter of they really thought they could get her to farm for the 200 and when they say it does not go happen them say no bother and I saw it go and people are say oh they selfish and them should have make somebody else and da 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 to be fair who else did run the 200 we could have go stand in the go, go do it right now and, and, and dominate like we know Sharika would a Sharika qualify and if they felt like they could get her there then I just saw it go me not ever bash Sharika, me not bash the athlete them because I don't think they're sitting there celebrating the fact that they cannot win or they cannot go and run these people are prep, are, they are prep for them something you know for years they are prep Sharika, me know Sharika is supposed to torn right now because me say she did end up mess up last Olympics you know and never get to win the 200 um run the 200 none at all so you know she probably didn't want to come back and show everybody say yo a medium 200 meter queen and she can't get to do that and that me, my heart hurts for her but we as a nation we stress out at what much medal we get we get two medals so far big up to the shot putter i forgot his name sorry you're not so popular i'm sorry sir but thank you to the shot putter and thank you to um Sh shanika ricketts we get the silver in a long jump so we're on the medal table but you know we as jamaicans right now we are hurting because we're not used to this. We're not used to this. Like we not. We just not used to this. You know, it's a rough Olympic Olympic year. <sighs> but let us let us talk about the final nail in the coffin. The nail that has the nail that propelled me to make this video. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Me say me not bash none we at least them, but me might have to bash Junel because Junel, you need to let go the crosses, boy. As a Jamaican, it is your patriotic duty to break up with Noah Lyles at this point. Me not I don't talk. When him win the race and, and, and them go pop hug, me nearly fling on myself. Julian, left the boy. Left the boy, it can't go work. Minister, Prime Minister Andrew Olness, me need to revoke Junelle's citizenship. And this is coming from me, when it's a root for their relationship. But right now, the way me upset, me can't take it. Junelle, you need to left the boy. I have to either let him or give him bun. This not sit right with me. But anyways, I'm so proud of Kishina and Oblique. And Akeem as well, because Akeem made it to the semi-finals. Because the boy, them run. They run some good time. Apparently, word on the street is that Oblique felt a uh, pulling him like him hamstring. And him kind of never, you know, go as hard in the finals. That's what that's what I heard. Me know. Um, with Kishin, me know a lot of us are upset because in a few eyes they say, "Oh, Kishin win," but no, guys, remember it's torso first, which is why athletes dip when them get to the line. So even if your foot cross first, with, even if your foot cross first. Which that was the case with Kishin. His foot made it over the line before everybody. Even um, the American Fred Curley, his foot made it over the line before Noah. But big, dirty, stinking, big nose. <laughs> 
big teeth sorry i'm being so undignified lord forgive me big face noah dip dip other than everybody else and that's how i end up getting the goal because imaki shane literally ran the same time and it is very upsetting you see because noah is so braggadocious and over the top and chatty chatty and he just has not garnered jamaica we love humility with and if you're not if you're not humble we love your we love charm all right so how me to put it for example throughout the years you have man like asafa asafa humble 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 both never humble but both was charming you understand both was hype but he had a certain charm to it both was so charismatic both is loved by everybody no one else on the other hand you know when them people when people just hype 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 i don't really see why they need to hype so that is the issue with noah he comes in in so hype in chat so much he's not that great in my opinion in the 100 beaters but for noah say him win the world championship america been running with this narrative say oh him are the fastest man in the world all of a sudden for all these years world championships are going you know uh, america they, and them never say the person who win 100 meter are the fastest person in the world it's never been that way until when shakari richardson and noah Lyles win the 100 meter all of a sudden now the narrative is anybody will win the 100 meter are the fastest person alive it was never like that you can't tell me no differently you can't tell me no differently anyways so the fact that him win and him go on so him do all of that now no no we not a rude female in the, in the olympics i'm gonna rather fred curly take it and as to God, Noah is a very annoying, unlikable person. And that's the problem. We don't just not like them because all oh, the Americans that you know will have a rivalry. There are Americans that we like. Alison Felix, Gary Thomas. No, I'm not root for them right now. Jamaica one may say. But there are Americans that we like and respect, you know, because they work on them craft. They respect others. And they don't have some dirty, nasty attitude. The fact of the matter is Noah Lyles and Shakira Richards are two of the dirtiest attitude me ever see. Me ever see pan the track and me don't like them and I will never root for them and me always have a rejoice and then don't fall. Una figure cost me. But just cannot root for them. Did y'all watch sprint? Every time people said to me, say, such girl not as bad as before. No, did y'all watch sprint? There was a scene in sprint, me, me can never forget when the girl was talking to the two reporter them were question her at the press conference. And the way she responded to the, like she just don't have no brat up see and did you guys also pray that they were not at the conference the post the post series conference after the 100 meter yesterday julian and alfred, alfred was the only person up there when i want to tell me said that was just woke up that she and her teammate melissa never did it no them girl and i have no class them come like some little ghetto tegrig rat i'm gonna take back my chat i'm just I'm upset i'm very upset i'm very annoyed i'm very upset uh, honestly, I could have lived with everything this Olympics except Noah winning because Noah is not a gracious winner And now we have to suffer another four years of this insufferable Ugly bell pepper nose Donkey teeth boy a parade on the internet like he's some great mighty person. He's not and you, You're trying so hard to be the next Usain Bolt and baby I'm here to tell you that you're not because you cannot compare and when you win by a nose you can't you, listen to me listen to me man listen to me listen to me guys may i go through it and i don't have a lot of high expectations for the rest of the olympics may not really see us doing well in the four by one men nor women but maybe not the men we could have picked up like maybe a silver or a bronze not sure what I want for the women if Sharika out, if Shelly out, Elena Dede. Um, I do have some faith in Nikisha Price um, for the 400 meter. I believe she she might surprise us. You know, she's going in there with one of the top times of the year. But at this point, for us Jamaicans, I don't know. I don't know. Noah is very good at the 200. So I don't know what's going to happen with us in the 200 meter. I don't know if Kishin or Oblique will be able, you know, to be fair, Noah and Sharika are two people may expect so would I win them 200 meter wants them in there because they're very good 200 meter runners. So guys, I don't know. It look bleaky. It look very bleaky. 
But that is it. That is all my lamentations. Whether you agree or disagree. But even but even two business. So what I want to say? Ah, cost me. Me no business. Me no business. Me no business. Me eat the Olympics, yeah. Me eat the Olympics, yeah. Me eat so now try to claim Julian stop. I mean eat so now win because no one disgust me. And it don't mess up. Have a good evening, you guys.